I stop the world. Male or female, it make no difference. I stop the world. World stop. Carry on. Kids see on my feet. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Chrisanne Danae Francis. You can call me Danae if you wanna, or you can call me Peppa Pop. Be hey guys, I don't have a flashy beginning for this video. So I am back with another video and I am here to let you know that I'll be doing a documentary on my journey and of course that is my born again believer slash backslidden journey so i was inside and my boyfriend was um he was playing a game Alright, sorry about that guys. Yeah, so he was playing a game. He is playing a game right now. PUBG, I believe. And um, a car was walking by. Um, a car was walking by. And a car was walking by and I didn't want to, you know, get all of that in the car. I just did my hair, by the way. So yeah. And like, another car is coming. Yes, yeah, so I am basically on the roadside, but I'm still gonna try and get this message across. So I'm going to start off by saying that this is the I'm trying I'm I'm having a very hard time finding the camera. So I'm I'm letting you guys know that this it's very when you're a backslider, it is very 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 hard to regain that faith that you had before that relationship with God. Like it is definitely, it is definitely not easy at all because it's like you'd even want to go back at church. You'd have the the little fire, like a little piece of fire left back inside of you, saying you can do this. But then the strongholds, footholds, and everything is like so overpowering that pouring that you feel like if you go back to church, people are gonna judge you. When somebody look upon you, you automatically assume say them are judge you. And it and not really something nice, to be honest. So I'm just gonna start off first by saying that. Alright, so secondly, it's going to be hard to stop doing things that you used to do before. Anything that you're doing, it takes time to stop a habit because once it goes over 21 days it is uh it is a habit right so i've been a backslider for more than 21 days so it's going to be hard not to just wake up the next morning and not be one i'm not saying it's impossible but from my experience i'm letting you know that it is very very hard so if you are there and you're a christian right now and you're wondering, you're seeing people partying, people having sex, people drinking excessively, people smoking, and people doing all manner of evil, as them would say, as the Bible would say. If you want to stay out there, then you go. But if you don't want to, if you don't want to, you don't stay because it's going to be very hard to come back. Number one, the clothing. That's not the main thing. For everybody, it is different. And it's definitely not going to be the same thing for everybody. Right? So, for me, it's the clothing. So, I find no problem with wearing something like this on the road. No. But when I was in the church, it was like, I see somebody out there and I'm like, no, what the hell is she wearing? She forgets she's a Christian and stuff like that. But then, what I think or I... A car is passing. Hold on. So what I think or what I believe is happening to me is that everything I used to, everything I used to judge people about, 
it's happening to me right now and I, you know it will take a process for me to like go right through with it i'm not gonna tell you everything right now but let me just start off with the clothing i used to judge people so hard about the type of clothes they're wearing and i said why am i wear that and you know the bible said this the bible said that and right now look at me Evan. i went on the road into this today and me, me have a high down do it because me can't make my mother say this because my mother gonna say she go, as we would have put it young people she go, um she go lecture me right and you know lecturing thing not really nice and make you feel bad and all of them somebody which the truth hurts i remember my cousin had post a video on tiktok with me showing somebody how to do the bit with me showing the, the basic wine right so my cousin messaged me and said that what kind of as then how far you could have did backslide so fia post something like that on social media for everybody to see and she said what if somebody see that and target you and then see you up on the road and say oh my member sh she wearing that so i probably want to take her away and rape her or something like that for lack of better words that's that those were her words right so i'm not being intensive right now i'm disclaimer because the last video i posted you guys attacked me well not everybody for being insensitive about pregnant females but females who can't get pregnant and i'm very sorry for that again i didn't mean for it to be um i didn't mean for it to be insensitive or to disrespect anybody out there or any community out there okay all right so it did just feel away and i attacked her and saying judgmental much but then my lip them dry so i continue to lick them off because they don't look good dry and my camera go back in the house just to get the lip gloss and come back out so it kind of it kind of you know it kind of made me feel like she was judging me but she then she quoted a scripture that judge righteously and that's another thing that we ignore in the church we tell we tell the children or whosoever judge not because god is the only judge but then the scripture says that we can judge righteously so if me see my brother man so if me see my brother man out there going to the wrong direction I gotta stop him and that's what my cousin was doing but i never look at it like that i look at it as oh okay she's just judging me because of judging sake but it wasn't that wasn't really the case right she 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 was trying to get me back on the straight and narrow the right track but me never said that because my eyes my ears and my mouth they became so filled with sin that i had to take my even my mind that i have to take time for me to realize that she's actually she actually means me well right and i'm very happy that i, I still I, I, the uh, I was filled with the Holy Spirit, so there is actually some left, you know. Well, I don't know if is that if that's the right thing to say, some left, but you know, you can let me know if if in the in the comment section. You know, oh yeah, my nail gone. Cause I feel like I did at and put on long nails, but it couldn't. And my thing, it never worked out. Is it me? All right, so yeah, so it kind of me feel away, but then I realized that. Iron sharpen it iron and if she see me a melt way she go she see me a, a, a wear out she go heat up the pot pour in some of your metal so me can get back my form and I never realized that so that's what actually inspired me to start documenting my journey maybe this is what I was supposed to use YouTube for I'm not sure but I just wanted to you to be a youtuber and now I am so I'm going to utilize it for something because I know that a lot of us out there are struggling with the same thing but we are afraid and we are embarrassed we are ashamed of it right but yes it's a part of our journey your journey my journey his her journey and we need to embrace it because if we deny it if we were self deny it then remember I know if you convince yourself you can convince others all right so i just wanted to let you guys know that's what i'm i'll be i'll be doing now and i really hope that i really hope that it really helps somebody out there all right so enjoy the rest of your week i guess and have a good one Bye bye